We have received the latest luggage guideline information from Royal Caribbean. This is something they want each of their guests to know. So if you will be cruising with Royal Caribbean, this is information that you need and we're going to share it all with you fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, rapid fire fashion so we don't waste your time. Let's go ahead and kick it off with number one. How much luggage can you take on a Royal Caribbean cruise? The answer is Royal Caribbean does not have a specified limit to the amount of luggage that you can bring. They just mentioned for you to bring a reasonable amount and to seek to limit the number of pieces that you take, but there is no specific number. Next, number two, let's talk about carry-ons. Royal Caribbean does have some recommendations for the carry-on. They say that guests should personally carry with them their boarding documentation. This could include passports, visas, citizenship documents, family legal documents. They also note that you may want to consider bringing in your carry-on a change of clothes and a bathing suit in case it takes a while for your check baggage to get to your stateroom. They also note that in your carry-on you'll want to keep with you any medications. And that brings us to number three. Royal Caribbean does have some things that they advise regarding medications. The first of those is they advise that any prescriptions that you have, that those medications that they remain in the original labeled containers. The second thing is they recommend that you bring at least three extra days of the medications. That way in case there is any kind of change to the itinerary at all that is unexpected that you'll be taken care of for at least those few days. And then number four, let's talk about locks. Royal Caribbean is very strict on this matter and that is if you're going to have any kind of lock on your suit case it has to be a TSA approved lock so if you're bringing a lock make sure you follow that guideline. And then number five, let's talk about luggage tags. Royal Caribbean does provide bag tags that should be attached to each of the pieces of your luggage. And these bag tags, they are specific to your ship, your selling date, your stateroom, and your deck number. These bag tags are provided through the Royal Caribbean website where you download the e-documents and then you can then print them. And then also know that on those luggage tags or those bag tags, there's also specific instructions on how they're to be used. Moving on to number six, what do you do if you forget to print and attach those luggage tags prior to arriving on embarkation day. Well, no fear, Royal Caribbean has said that you can also get some generic bag tags from the porters and you can fill out the necessary information then, but to avoid any confusion and any kind of delays in the boarding process, they do recommend you do it prior to arriving at the pier, but if you forget, they've got your back. Next is number seven, and that is how do you get your luggage from the pier onto the ship? Well, with Royal Caribbean, you do have a few options with that. Royal Caribbean will let you take your luggage on board yourself if you desire. They're not going to stop you, but they want you to know that it may be a while before you have access to your stateroom. So their recommendation would be to drop off your luggage with the porters there at the pier. Make sure you have those luggage tags affixed to your luggage, and then you can take that carry-on and be on your way, and your luggage will catch up with you in your stateroom later in the evening. And then number eight, when can you expect to have your luggage available to you? Well, Royal Caribbean wants you to know that on embarkation day, they are processing a lot of luggage and it can take a little while. It varies depending upon the ship and even depending upon the individual sailings of a ship, but it may be sometime after the ship actually sails away from the pier that your luggage will arrive at your stateroom. It's one of those things, it's just hard to judge the time and they encourage guests to be patient. Moving right along to number nine, let's talk about what to actually pack. Now packing, that's a big deal, a lot can be said there, but Royal Caribbean does have a few items that they want to remind people to consider bringing. The first thing that they want to remind people to bring is to bring more more than one swimsuit. They know that if you do that, you're always going to have at least one dry one. They also want to remind you to bring a comfortable pair of walking shoes. And then depending on the climate that you're sailing to, they say that if you're going to a warm climate, they want to remind you, you might want to consider bringing a hat for sun protection. And if you're cruising to a colder climate, they want to remind you to make sure that you pack that jacket and you bring a few sweaters with you as well. Next, number 10, let's talk about bringing your own food on board. Now look, on a cruise ship, there are plenty of food options available, but some people do ask about bringing their own food with them. So Royal Caribbean has said this, they do allow you to bring non-perishable pre-packaged food items with you. They've requested that that be in limited quantities 
quantities. They have not specified exactly what limited means, but you can bring that with you. I think this has been put in place for example, if you have the really picky kid that likes that one little snack, or maybe somebody that's a fitness buff and they want to make sure they bring those protein bars with them, but know that that is allowed non-perishable, pre-packaged, that's the key. Okay, let's talk about bringing alcoholic beverages. On embarkation day, each guest of legal drinking age can bring one sealed 750 milliliter bottle of wine or champagne. Box wine or other containers are prohibited. Also, beer and hard liquor is not allowed. And then number 12, let's talk about bringing on non-alcoholic beverages. Royal Caribbean has said that you can bring these along with you as a carry-on item on boarding day, and here's the guidelines. Non-alcoholic beverages may not exceed 12 standard 17 ounce cans, bottles, or cartons per stateroom. They've also noted that milk and distilled water can also be brought on for infant, medical, or dietary use. For unlucky number 13, let's talk about those unlucky prohibited items that you cannot bring with you on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Buckle up, there's quite a few of these, but we're going to go through them fast. First, you cannot bring with you any kind of firearm or ammunition, and this includes any kind of replica, so you can bring no kind of toys that even look like one. You can't bring sharp objects, so no knives of any sort. Now, you can bring safety scissors, but the blade on those scissors has to be less than four inches. Obviously, no illegal drugs or substances. You cannot bring CBD oil and CBD products of any sort. You can't bring candles, incense, coffee makers, clothes irons, travel steamers, hot plates, basically anything that generates heat or produces an open flame. Now, there are a few exceptions to that. They know that ladies are going to be bringing their curling irons and their straighteners. That is okay. They also know that smokers need to light those cigarettes, so they do also allow matches and they also allow just normal lighters. You can't bring hoverboards. You can't bring any kind of martial arts or self-defense items, so no handcuffs and no pepper spray. You can't bring any kind of flammable liquids or explosives, so that means you cannot have any kind of private fireworks show from your balcony. No hookahs or water hookah pipes. No ham radios, and I really didn't even know that was still a thing, but pretty cool. No electrical extension cords. No chemicals that they would consider dangerous such as bleach or paint. No perishable food or meat products. And you can't bring any of those alcoholic beverages that we previously mentioned such as the beer, the seltzer, or the hard liquor. Moving on to number 14, how do you file a claim if your luggage is damaged? Well, Royal Caribbean, they have an email address that you contact to file such a claim. I will put that email address for Royal Caribbean's guest relations down in the video description. And then number 15 is miscellaneous items and these are items that Royal Caribbean has recommended specifically for going ashore at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, but they're good to keep in mind even if you're not going to that destination. So here they are. One, they noted bringing UPF protection. So this can include clothing, but also the sunscreen. They also noted bringing bug repellent. So depending on where you're going and the time of year, something to consider when you're packing. And then finally, they noted bringing closed-toed shoes. They noted that some of their zipline experiences, they require closed-toed toed shoes. So something you want to make sure to bring with you. A lot of times going to beaches, we're just thinking sandals and flip-flops, but don't forget those comfortable closed-toed shoes. Okay, I hope that helps you on your Royal Caribbean cruise. Kelly and I, we have a couple of Royal Caribbean cruises coming up as well. So look, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.